the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love me and the fame. fame, 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 fame. What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back in the fishing planet. All right, guys, I just won an X Series Barbless Spinner 1 half 3 Ot, completing the Barbless Master 3 Challenge. Now, to complete this, you need a Barbless Lure of some type, Barbless Spinner, or, or a Barbless Spoon, some type of Barbless. Now, the thing with Barbless Lure is that they usually cost bait coins unless you win them. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can win a Barbless Lure that you can use to complete Barbless Master 1, 2, and 3, all right? Now, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check this out. Go on and hit that like button if these videos help you, if you enjoy my Fishing Planet videos. And thank you for helping to make my Fishing Planet videos some of the number one videos on YouTube. I really, really appreciate that, guys. All right. So let's look at some ways you can get your hands on a barbless lure without spending precious bait coin and a way that you can spend it and still get it. And then let's test out this X-Series barbless spinner. All right, guys, let's do it. Now to win the X series barbless lure, you have to catch fish using barbless lure, okay? Barbless lure and any barbless hook or barbless tackle cost bait coins. I haven't found any that you can just buy with regular money. They cost bait coins. And you have to be real careful, real picky what you use your bait coins on, all right? A barbless lure is one that I suggest though. One of the few things I suggest, don't spend many of your bait coins on lure, but that is one I suggest. Now, if you want to win it, I will show you. So the first one you want to do is go to Falcon Lake and you'll do this Falcon Trout mission. As you see, you just catch one of each. You can use spinners, you can use other lure types, you can use live bait. It doesn't matter as long as you catch these four fish, you'll win this barbless spinner one half, three ot. So you take this spinner, now you have a barbless spinner without spending bait coins. Then you can go to this Rocky Careful Angler. The Rocky Careful Angler, you have to have a barbless spoon. So that means you're gonna have to use bait coins to do this one. I suggest doing it though, it'll be two or three. You will make it back. You'll earn it back using that barbless uh, lure, that barbless spoon. But once you catch those, it adds to this barbless master one. As long as it's any type of barbless lure, spoons, spinners, etc., you will win. All right. But again, this one will still take spending some money unless you win on a different challenge where they offer a barbless spoon. And I don't know of that. So let's jump back in and let's test out the lure. Let's catch us some fish. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and cast right here at my favorite spot in between the rock and the log these down trees you'll catch all kinds of trouts you'll catch some bass right here and it's a very good spot and i'm doing the three rod technique oh look at that we got our first one now the good thing about these barbless spinners you can just stop and go i like to twitch and lift and drop but you can usually do stop and go with barbless spinners and they'll get you plenty of trout catches look at that got us an oregon red band trout oregon red band trout all right, so we're going to throw right back, go right to the well. Oh, and look at that. Our float is going off. Now, when I do three rod setups, I like to use two floats, but it depends on the lake. You may want to use uh, feeders as well. I like using feeders as well. Sometimes you can do one feeder, one float, two floats, two feeders. And I'm actually look out for my next video. I showed you the way I do my three rod setups. I have one coming at night here from Falcon Lake where you can catch a lot of good fish. All right, we call this a cut throat. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, but I, I did a video. I have one ready about to, to drop where you're using a three rod setup technique. But I throw a float one in there. Just in case you don't want to use the spin rod, I like to use the spin rod because I get a high amount of uniques and trophies. But if you want to just totally use bait so you can just sit the rod down and let the uh, bait do the work, I have a video coming up. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe because that'll be on the way. And you want to see that. You want to see that, all right? All right, cool. So look at that. We already got another hit on our X-Series Barbless Spinner. Got us another hit. Let's see what this is here. Okay, a smallmouth bass. You will get bass. Bass actually have a very, very good uh, rate of earnings per pound. So they're one of the better ones. The bass and pikes are two of the best ones I found in the game. Trout at this lake and other lakes do good money and you'll fill up your net fast. 
uh, but they don't make as much per pound. But the offset is you catch so many that you'll usually out earn those other fish uh, in, the, in a similar amount of time. All right, so cool. One of our floats is going off. I'm still see if I can catch anything. Okay, before I switch. All right, all right. All right, cool. Oh, this one got a little weight to it. Now I'm using crickets. If you want to use this technique and you pull out your match rod, your floats, I am using crickets. Crickets work really well during the daytime. Any insects work well during the daytime at Falcon Lake. All right, cool. We got us a cutthroat trout. Another cutthroat. And you see this is a good spot to catch cutthroats because we catching quite a few. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to go back to the well. Go back to the well like Gargamel. Go back to the well like a, a Gargamel. All right, let's get our spinner back out. Now, it's already been sitting, and I still will reel it in and, and test it out. This one might be too close, so we may have to go on and uh, reel this one in and recast. But just in case, sometimes you get a nibble right by the show. Right by the show. And then make it a quick, easy catch, even when it's a fish that will fight. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got us another hit. We got us another hit. I wanted to cast, because if you uh, switch rides and you haven't cast out, they put the ride up. If you cast first, it will stay out. So I usually like to cast, but if the bite, if you know, if you miss the bite, you will reel again. If they've already been biting and set for, you know, so many seconds, I won't cast, because I don't want to risk losing the fish. If you take too long, you will lose the fish. Oh man, it's a little bass. I could have took a chance on that one. But again, bass is good money, good conversion rate. All right, all right. I want to try mayflies. We'll go ahead and put a mayfly on here. Because again, mayflies, the insects that attract trout, mayflies work really well. The crickets work really well. I believe grasshoppers do as well. Uh, I have to look. But definitely mayflies and grasshoppers, uh, excuse me, definitely mayflies and crickets. They work really, really well. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let's grab our Aurora eight foot two inch. That's the rod that I'm using with this barbless spinner. And it's an 11 pound, it's basically a five to 11 pound and whatever reel you equip will uh, control the weight of the setup. I have it set for 11 pounds. This thing is right at 10, like not like 10 9 or something like that 9 9 but it's right at 11 pounds and it'll catch any fish at falcon lake and reel them in pretty fast any fish at emerald uh oh oh man we got two going y'all we got two going now i'm taking a chance i'm trying to reel this one in my gut's telling me to go ahead and switch and set that hook but i'm gonna try to reel this one in and see if we can get both you're taking a chance when you do this sometimes it's good to just go ahead and switch leave the other one in the water Let's see what we got. Come on, let's hurry up, hurry up. Okay, we got a trophy. Ooh, that was a trophy. Well, I'm glad we went ahead and got that one. Dog on it. The other one timed out. We just gonna say that was a little bad. So that, that was a little young cutthroat trout. So we got the trophy out of it. That's the one we wanted. That's that good, good money. All right, guys, so you're seeing that this X-Series Barbless Spinner is a really good lure. It's basically out of magic. It is, I'm going to do a magic lure series. It's basically automatic, showing just really good lures that basically work with really minimal effort. Uh, this X Barbless and really a lot of the Barbless Spinners at this lake work really, really well, guys. Uh, the spinners in general work well, but this X-Series, that's the reason that you win it. That's the reason you see these X-Series in competitions because they are really, really reliable, really good money, guys. So we're gonna get up out of here. Again, hit me in the comment box, guys. Let me know other lakes you wanna see, uh, what you wanna see as far as techniques, you know, if you wanna see equipment, lures. Let me know what lakes you wanna see me do hot spots, and I'll do them, guys, okay? And hit that like button. If you're really feeling this, hit that like button. And let me know what fish you catch. Let me know if you win this X-Series Barbless Lure. If you've invested in any Barbless Lure or Barbless Hooks. Let me know that in the comment as well. Again, if this video helps you, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Guys, go on and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Share this so others can use this, guys. These videos really help people. They're here to help those playing Fish and Planet on any of the systems. Hit me again in that comment box, guys. All right. Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. So, guys, before we go, I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you want to support 
there are other ways that you can do so. So check out this little promo and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com slash shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there, I Run The Game, the album, Charles Macro Music. Look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right? You also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products. Just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy. That helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm going to be getting subscribe start soon if you want to support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook. Any of those social medias you want to follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business, uh, video, go on, on there, follow, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys once again just for the support. Charles Macro, thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.